A district administrative court in Kiev recently decided to suspend Ulyana Suprun from her position as Ukraine's acting minister of health care. The lawsuit was initiated by a member of the radical party, Ihor Mosichuk. The reason for it, according to Mosichuk, incompetence. The court took into consideration the fact that Suprun still has U.S. citizenship. The pharmaceutical mafia that Suprun is supposedly combating is flourishing for some reason. You cannot find the simplest things. The Prime Minister has immediately held consultations with the coalition and proposed for consideration to the Ukrainian parliament a new candidate for the post of healthcare minister. Ukraine's cabinet of ministers reacted to the decision of the court. The official statement says that Suprun is under pressure in every possible way, and that is all because of the corrupt schemes that are being combated by Suprun and her team. The acting minister herself stated that the court is just another way to hinder her actions. This is not the first time we have to deflect an attack by those who oppose progress and who have as a goal to paralyze the Ministry of Healthcare of Ukraine and to replace our team with a team that will be comfortable for their schemes. Truth and law are on our side, and in this case of the failed trial, we will win again. We will defend ourselves, as always, with your support. The Ukrainian president has supported Ulyana Suprun. He announced he supports her wholeheartedly and noted that Ukrainian citizenship has been given to her by his presidential decree. I want to underline and remind that the issue of citizenship falls within the authority of the president of Ukraine. I have recently met with Ms. Ulyana. I stress that Ms. Ulyana is a citizen of Ukraine, according to the decree that was signed by the president of Ukraine, Petro Poroshenko, which granted her Ukrainian citizenship. Ulyana Suprun, a U.S. citizen of Ukrainian descent, was appointed as acting minister of health care in July 2016. Immediately after her appointment, she started to radically reform the post-Soviet health care system. When there are changes happening, those that are, um, uh, those that are against those changes, because they're comfortable in the system that is, uh, for them they're making a lot of money. Uh, for them uh, they're comfortable in um, knowing what the rules are because they make the rules. Instead what we're doing is pulling back and we're saying there should be equal rules for everyone and that each patient should have equal access to the quality health care that they don't have at this point. The introduction of the Affordable Medicine Program reform of the purchasing procedures of medicine and vaccines and the start of a health care insurance system was just a sliver of the full scope of reforms introduced by Suprun. 76% of patients who signed an agreement with their chosen family doctor are satisfied with their choice. According to the reform, patients are guaranteed a range of free tests, doctor's appointments and vaccinations. Our level of financing is not sufficient, but is higher than ever. Our first aid and family health care has a budget for the next year 15 million hryvnias, which has never happened before. Usually it was 8-9 million. We have increased the budget of this sphere by one and a half times. The Ministry of Healthcare has announced that they consulted with lawyers before the trial. On February 15th, the District Court of Kiev will make a final decision in the case of Suprun, reported by Artem Holub, UATV.